The midterm elections are an important part of American democracy. This gives individuals the ability to vote and voice their opinion. Barry College freshman and business major Amanda Milner was denied the ability to vote because her residency was still in California, where she is from. She had to fight for her right to vote by going to the Floyd County Board of Elections and Registrations to provide proof of residency in Floyd County. Milner is an out-of-state college student, so this was the main contributor to her ineligibility to vote. The court did not know she had followed the Georgia Election Code by establishing legal residency in Floyd County. But the conflict was the part about being a college student, but that's, according to this part of the law, canceled out when you accomplish at least one of the six items. Milner explained that if she presented her photo ID, bank statement, government check, a paycheck, or any government statement, she would be deemed eligible to vote. And then also one of the huge things was, it really is, it's plain and simple, it says what IDs are acceptable to be a voter. And the first one is any valid state or federal government issued ID. She presented her driver's license as a way to prove her eligibility. All the things you're asking for saying, oh, but you're a student here. I'm like, yes, I am, but I'm able to also show you all the information that would cancel out that piece of information that they're, they were arguing. Milner presented a bank statement and paycheck, which satisfied the requirement, so the board voted to let her register. With the midterm election season over, American citizens should learn the importance of their vote and the privilege it is. With Viking Fusion News, I'm Ashley Moreno.